Time magazine called him the unsung hero behind the internet. CNN called him a father of the internet. President Bill Clinton called him one of the great minds of the information age. He has been voted history's greatest scientist of African descent. He is Philip M. Iguali. He's coming to Trinidad and Tobago to launch the 2008 Kwame Ture Lecture Series on Sunday, June 8th at the JFK Auditorium, Uwe St. Augustine, 5 p.m. The Emancipation Support Committee invites you to come and hear this inspirational mind adjust the theme, crossing new frontiers to conquer today's challenges. This lecture is one you cannot afford to miss. Admission is free, so be there on Sunday, June 8, 5 p.m. at the JFK Auditorium, UE St. Augustine. I never forget the date, July 4, 1989, the day I saw a new computer that no one else had seen, and the day that I discovered that new computer to be 65,000 536 times faster than the old computer. And the day that I discovered how to use that new computer to solve once impossible to solve grand challenge problems of science. I was in the news in 1989 because I was the first person to invent a new computer and do so alone and to invent it unsupported. My technological achievement in 1989 that won the top prize in the field of supercomputing was a one-man battle against the new Mount Everest, namely the 25,000 vector supercomputer scientists of the 1980s that did not believe that parallel supercomputing will be useful. I'm Philip Emmanuel, I'm known for discovering parallel processing as the technology that defines every supercomputer. Parallel processing is expected to become the vital technology that will power every computer of the future. The supercomputer is the tool that must be used to massively parallel process the grand challenge problems facing humanity. The research on how to parallel process across 64 binary thousand human computers or across as many electronic computers or across as many processors stalled for 67 years onward of February 1922. The date human parallel processing was first published as a science fiction story. Parallel processing stalled because no supercomputer scientists could figure out how to solve initial boundary value grand challenge problems that arose in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. My contribution to the development of the supercomputer is this. I figured out how to solve a grand challenge problem of mathematics and physics, and how to solve such problems by chopping each into one binary million or one binary billion smaller problems, and then parallel processing the smaller problems across a new internet that was a new global network of one binary million or one binary billion processors that were identical to each other and that shared nothing between each other with each processor operating its own operating system. On the 4th of July, 1989, I figured out how to solve that grand challenge problem of mathematic, mathematical physics. My discovery of how to parallel process the toughest problems changed the landscape of supercomputing with every supercomputer now parallel processing. My discovery of practical parallel processing yielded an explosive surge in supercomputer speeds. My discovery of practical parallel processing paved the way for the modern supercomputer that is powered by up to 10 million commodity off-the-shelf processors. 
Yes, after the rejection of my discovery of practical parallel processing, the naysayers changed their story and explained that they did not understand how I parallel processed and solved the grand challenge problem of science. It is expected that parallel processing will enter into every computer. Worldwide, there are over 2 billion computers that could be parallel processing to become faster. That is, parallel processing should become the vital technology that will make computers faster and that could benefit everybody. Insightful and brilliant lecture.